New polio outbreak slows Nigeria's march to eradication. But after attaining non-polio endemic status in September 2015, commitment waned and complacency set in. This was particularly evident at the levels of the National Assembly, governors and local government area chairpersons. This complacency meant that polio eradication activities were no longer backed by adequate and timely counterpart funding at the state and local government area levels. This was despite a public and often vocal commitment to polio eradication from Nigeria's President Mohamedou Buhari. As a result gaps remained in the quality of immunization and surveillance activities. These were especially prominent in the country's security compromised areas. Read, Polio Reemerges in Many Countries The wild polio virus, type 1 Isolates were recovered from residents in Goza and Jerry local government areas in Borno state in northern Nigeria. Genetic sequencing suggests these isolates are most closely linked to the wild polio virus type 1 that was last detected in the state in 2011. How far back does this set Nigeria in its progress to eradicate polio? When Nigeria was removed from the list of polio endemic countries in 2015 it meant this was the first time the country had managed to interrupt transmission of wild polio virus. It needed to have no new cases of the wild polio virus reported for three successive years to finally attain a polio-free status by 2017. Countries have to go at least 12 months without a case before they can be considered for removal from the list of polio endemic countries. Polio free status comes after three years without a case. Although Nigeria can no longer be considered a polio endemic country, analysis shows that the 2016 isolate is closely linked to a 2011 isolate. This means we were unable to detect the transmission. The current outbreak has set Nigeria back by at least two years, provided that no wild polio virus is detected in the future. In the future.